everybody, Jorge Perutsu here, software engineer at IBM. And in this lesson, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about identity and access management, or IAM. So today, I wanna to show you a little bit of how to create an API key and how to authenticate yourself in a terminal or command line interface with your API key. And then also, I wanna show you how to create and invite users to your account and then give them certain permissions over services and other resource groups. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, from the Manage tab in the top tab of IBM Cloud, you can click on Access or I Am. Here, we're going to go into the left sidebar and we'll click on API Keys. So I have a lot of different API Keys, uh, but right now I'm just going to create a new one and I'll call it Test. And great, we can see that the API key has been successfully created. We can copy it and download it, which is always a good idea. Now that we're in my terminal, we can authenticate into IBM Cloud. So we can do IBM Cloud login dash dash API key. And then I'll just do paste and I'll paste in my API key. And in a couple seconds, you should see that you're authenticated and you can check all the resource groups uh, or the resource service instances like we did in the previous lesson. Great, so again, you can see that we've authenticated and we've seen all my instances in my account. Um, so to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit more about users, let's click on the users tab from the left hand side. And here you can see that uh, within one account, we have many different users. And for now, let's go ahead and invite some users. So you can see that automatically we can add users to access groups. So again, what is nice about an access group is that we can group users into groups and give them all the same amount of access. So for example, we have an admin access group, so they're doing the account management tasks. Um, we have a user, um, so the user, like me, is a basic user, but they cannot give and uh, do any sort of account management things. So for now, um, we can assign users additional access, so this is where we can customize access, um, and this is what we wanna do now. So let's go ahead and enter an email address, so we can do test at gmail, Dot com and we'll assign this user additional access we'll click on that and for example for classical infrastructure we'll give them the basic user so this person can manage users uh, notify subscriptions and other things as well so we'll, we'll click on on add so you can see that for classical infrastructure for uh, test at gmail.com we have given them a basic user now for IAM services we can go ahead and give them all um, identity and access enabled services in this particular account, we want to give them editor access. Um, so just kind of like a basic user access and for all of the regions as well. And for service access, we can give them writer um, access as well. So we'll click that add. And now if we just click on invite, we can give these customized access rules to this user. So in this lesson, you've learned a little bit about authenticated via API keys and how it's useful to automate authentication. And then also you've seen a little bit about access control groups and how you can customize access policies for a certain user using um, IAM within IBM Cloud. So thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.